Not sure what's the right website builder for you? Wix, Squarespace, or even something else? I promise you'll have a much better idea after watching this short video. Welcome to Website Tool Tester, where we review website builders all day, so you don't have to. Let me walk you through the six main differences of these two products. Ease of use. Which one is faster to learn? Wix is a straightforward drag-and-drop editor that is pretty much self-explanatory. You move elements to the canvas and simply edit them, and you'll have lots of freedom to create whatever you like. Squarespace, on the other hand, is much more restrictive. They use a grid system where elements need to snap in. So even simple things like resizing an image can mean having to use spacer elements, creating columns, adjusting them, in essence, clicking around quite a lot. Another inconvenience is that all your changes will be published live directly. There is no publish button as there is in Wix. Squarespace does have the advantage that it's more structured and it'll be slightly harder to mess up your website completely. However, should disaster strike your Wix website, you can always use the powerful backup and restore feature to get one of your previous site versions back. Squarespace doesn't have anything comparable. Wix takes this point home with ease. SEO. The next battle will be fought out in SEO, search engine optimization. Most websites receive the majority of their traffic via Google, so let's check which is a better SEO ally for your site. Wix used to have quite a few flaws in the past. However, they've improved significantly over the years. Now, you basically have access to all important areas of your website, like the page title, URLs, and image alt texts. With Squarespace, this looks a little different. Your page titles are pretty much the most important part to optimize, as Google values them highly. However, Squarespace only lets you edit them on regular content pages. For blog articles and product pages, they will just auto-generate the title, which poses a significant limitation. There are even a couple more limitations that you can study on our website if you like. I guess you suspected it already, but SEO-wise, all Squarespace is able to get is a bloody nose. Blogging. Blogging is Squarespace's claim to fame as this has always been their focus. Pro features like running a multi-author blog, scheduling, discus integration, and AMP support for faster mobile loading. They even boast a podcasting feature that lets you host your audio files for Apple Podcasts. There isn't much to win for Wix in this arena, right? To be honest, no. Wix does provide a pretty decent basic blog, which will be enough in 80% of all use cases. If blogging is your main area of activity, though, you may find it too limiting. Just keep in mind the SEO limitations of Squarespace that apply to the blog, too. Squarespace shortens the distance to 2 to 1. Additional apps. An area where Wix has invested heavily is the app market. You can choose from more than 250 apps, the majority of which also have a free option. Among them, for example, Wix bookings for online appointments reservations, Wix events to manage your events, live chat apps for customer support, and much more. Many of them are designed by Wix themselves, which has the advantage that you can be pretty sure they'll be supported in the future. Squarespace, on the other hand, doesn't offer anything like the app market. To add external apps, you'll need to do a code injection. While this sounds worse than it actually is, you just copy and paste a piece of code, it is certainly not very convenient. And most of all, you are lacking the Wix-made high-quality apps. As you can imagine, Wix now leads 3 to 1. Support. A short while back, we did a pretty intensive study of website builders and their support quality. Both Wix and Squarespace have excellent knowledge bases. You should be able to resolve most of your issues without ever contacting a human agent. Squarespace has an edge, though, when it comes to personal support. Although live chat wasn't always available when we needed it, it is great to generally have it. Wix doesn't do live support, but you can expect email responses within a day. Most importantly, the quality of Squarespace's replies tended to be a bit higher overall. 3 to 2. 
Squarespace takes this one home. Value for money. So, in terms of features, Wix seems to have a clear lead. But what about value for money? Where do you get the better deal? Wix's cheapest ad-free plan that lets you use your own domain name is Combo. Currently, they charge you $14.50 per month or $11 if you commit for a full year. The same ad-free plan with a domain name is called Personal at Squarespace. It's either $16 if you pay month to month or $12 when you sign up for a full year. Overall, Wix is not only slightly cheaper, but you also have the option to use the ad-sponsored free plan. This gives you a couple of important advantages. You can take your time to finalize your website without having to pay just yet. Possibly even never, if you don't care about the Wix ad. If you ever decide you don't want to pay for your website anymore, you just downgrade to a free website. This way, you won't lose all your content, as opposed to Squarespace. You probably guessed it, the value for money point goes to Wix too. And there, we have our final score. Wix wins this match pretty clearly, 4-2. Let's briefly summarize the individual rounds. Ease of use? Wix. SEO? Wix. Blogging? Squarespace. Additional apps? Wix. Support? Squarespace. Value for money? Wix. If you need more information, please check out Website Tool Tester, where we have in-depth reviews for Wix, Squarespace, as well as many other website and e-commerce tools such as Weebly, Shopify, and WordPress. And if you have a question about this video, please leave a comment.